Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Today we're asking how are they feeling about you? We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. I am doing a giveaway for uh, my 10,000 subscribers. So if you wanna be part of that, um, make sure you're subscribed and you comment. As soon as I reach 10,000 subscribers, I will be giving him away. So my gorgeous darlings, how are they feeling about you today? So pile number one, how are they feeling about you today? We have the Knight of Swords. We have the King of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Nine of Wands. So we have the King of Cups and the Four of Wands. I think that, and we also have the Ace of Swords. Not, I'm sorry, not the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords. I can speak. So, I get the impression that this person is likely to reach out if they haven't been talking to you. If not, I feel like they might communicate to you regarding some kind of commitment. We have the Nine of Wands. So, either this person is kind of tired of fighting or maybe this, or maybe you have, you know, gotten tired of some things and put up some boundaries. Um, clarity on the Nine of Wands, King, a uh, Queen of Cups. So, King to Queen of Cups, two people um, both having feelings, both being relatively mature. I don't know if this person has been in the past because it does feel like there is an element of just being kind of tired of trying or tired of fighting for this or... We have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is taking action on the truth, communicating Ten of Pentacles. Commitment and commitment. So I feel like this person is, uh, you know, definitely thinking about commitment in regards to you. We have the Seven of Wands. Are you defensive towards them? Are they defensive towards you? I feel like they may be a little bit defensive towards you. It looks like you might be a little bit defensive towards each other. Um, However, it is also completely possible that you're defensive regarding this person because maybe they were keeping you at arm's length in some way. Or uh, clarity on the Four of Wands. We have the Five of Wands. So we have commitment and at, it looks like that there has been some conflict over commitment before regarding you. Conflict over... Two of Cups. So it does look like this feels like somebody who might be a little bit of a commitment phobe actually seriously considering commitment. Uh, and if they did, it's maybe because you um, maybe had enough of what they were selling. Um, We have the Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands, which means with the Five of Wands, there has been conflict over commitment in the past with this person. That's just what it looks like. Or you're just not on the same page about something. I feel like this person may be realizing that they may have to get their act together in some way if they don't want to lose the connection that you guys have. 
How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you? We've got the Ten of Pentacles twice. Ten of Pentacles on top of Ten of Pentacles. I think that this person is considering a, a long-term connection, something steady, stable, that will last the test of time. Um, it is likely that this person is going to come in with a lot of action, a lot of communication, maybe wanting to move things forward emotionally. And they might be wanting to move things emotionally because they feel your energy pulling back. I think that maybe this person may only have gotten their um, stuff together because they... It feels like, if this doesn't sound like you or, you or your connection, feel free to choose another one. That's fine. But it really gets... I'm really getting the impression that somebody had enough. Somebody has, has decided, like, I'm not getting fulfilled. I'm walking away because of that. And it looks like the other person doesn't want to lose them. Um, and therefore is going to try to live up to that because they do not want to lose this person. Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like if you walked away from this person, if you started pulling back from this person, if you started, like, you know, protecting yourself and, you know, having enough despite the, the affection that you feel for this person, this person does have some regret regarding that. This person still does need to do right by you, and I feel like their impetus is to do right by you is you pulling back. How are they feeling about you right now, pile number one? Death, transformation. And this is on top of the ten of pentacles twice. So I feel like this person um, with death, there there might be a significant transformation this person is going through. We have the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles is kind of reaping what you sow. Um, it's also, you know, what you invested in towards the future. I feel like whoever this is might realize that whatever they invested in the future and in you, they might end up losing. Um, we have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Five of Swords. I think that with the Five of Swords, you do need to be careful and make sure that this person, you know... Five of Swords is one of my malintent cards. Uh, you know, like not really thinking about how their actions affect others. Or, you know, like wanting to win at any cost. But the problem is sometimes the cost is too high. So it looks like there might be an element of somebody here that's, you know... And I feel like for most of you, it, it, it is you. Where, you, you know, you might have had just enough. Um... And for good reason, because Five of Swords is always going to cause heartbreak. Five of Swords is, you know, we've got the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is a burden. Uh, the Ten of Wands is, you know, some... I feel like... This really feels like a pile um, with somebody who's walking away from something, not because there isn't love, but because, you know, the other person is not, I was looking for that five of, of, <laughs> five of ones, the other person isn't getting on the same page regarding commitment and, like, isn't really, you know fully considering how it's going uh, how it was affecting the person who put up their guard um, and I feel like it is forcing this person to have to change in order to keep the connection in order to not have you walk away 
compassion. I feel like this person has probably, re <laughs> and I don't usually do upside down, but again, I feel like you guys probably have acted with a lot of compassion towards this person and you know, it's not really that you don't have compassion. It's more that there's an end of the rope quality. Um, I don't think that this person wants to lose that. Yeah. Car, get in the driver's seat of your life. I feel like there might be an element of you really taking control of your life. Um, also, this person realizing that they also have to get control of their life. Because it does feel like somebody who had some patterns that just wasn't going to be conducive to any kind of relationship. Individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan for this earth life. So... Everybody gets their stuff together in different ways. Everybody has their own thing. I feel like this person does want a new beginning in love. Um, I think that until this person, you know, actually truly is, you know, not acting in a way that's sketchy and, you know, truly committing to this situation, just, uh, you know, pay attention to that. Um, but it does look like there is a chance for a new love and new beginning here. And part of that is like, this person has to want to be with you enough to do right by you um, and not be at a place where they're, you know, just thinking about their, like, and I feel like this this is specifically a character, uh, uh, yeah. So we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is healing, rest, pause. If you are just moving away from this person or just walking away because you kind of had enough, you kind of have to give this person enough time to... Um, When I say give this person time, you don't need to give this person any time. You don't need to give this person any more chances, not if you don't want to. But um, if you are just moving away, if you just put up boundaries, um, don't take them down the moment this person does anything. Take this down, take them down the moment this person shows you the behavior you've needed to see and consistently does it because that's what's going to build a strong foundation. And this particular person, for whatever reason, does need to drop their, um, they need to drop something that they're doing. Um, and they need to respect your absence enough to do it realize that if they don't do that you're truly not you truly have had enough of them so i do see this person wanting commitment i do see this person wanting a new thing um, but this person needs to drop behavior that isn't going to be conducive to having a relationship and it does feel like they they very much might do that in order to not lose you. But I also get the impression if they don't have to risk losing you, they might not work on their stuff. And you kind of have to mean it. Overthinking creates a prison in your mind for yourself. I feel like this person was definitely overthinking about what their fears were 
or, you know, whether they're going to be in charge or, unfortunately, things that don't really truly matter. Um, and I feel like that that did cause conflict within your within your connection. We have this one's spirit. What about spirit? So there is a need to consider what is actually healthy. Because this is about health. This is about growing together. Um, it just feels like, and again, if this isn't your reading, it's not your reading. Choose another one is fine. Um, but it feels like this person, they can't really have their bad behavior enabled. Um, you can't just be perfect enough. This person has to have something to lose in order to do the changes that they need to do. Um, and there's a need for you to consider it what is healthy for you. Because I think that if this person comes back in their life, they have to, uh, your life, if they're not in your life or if they want to continue in your life, they're going to have to act in a healthy way or risk you moving and leaving. So we've got the smiley face with the wink. We have home and the king of cups. King of cups is coming up a second time. There is a king and a queen of cups. There is a chance for two people to be really on the same page here. But it feels like one person in particular has an issue with commitment and they may have to, they will have to choose between either doing, either facing their fears or losing you. And it looks like if they're forced to that, that they are more likely to try to salvage things. Um, unfortunately, I think that this person's pattern, whatever it is, yeah, I think that they've created an overthinking prison. So, so if you have moved away from this person and you've moved away from this person for a while, they probably are very much thinking about going back, coming back and offering you something. Um, if you are just leaving, you need to give this enough time for them to respect that they can't have you and act in a way that isn't good for you. So I hope that this helps. I deeply appreciate you. If you want a free reading, I'm gonna give away two as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers. Make sure that you comment and are subscribed if you wanna be a part of that. And I will be giving away two at that time. So my gorgeous and talented pile number twos. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? We have the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. There's more than one card that's associated with work here. And the Three of Cups. Mm, the Three of Cups. This is like the necessary energy and effort needed to put in. This is building something bigger. And this is like a good time, but not actually taking things seriously. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay, for some of you, this person might be in a place where they're healing from something else and is not in a place to take a connection very seriously. That may not be for all of you. And again, if you really feel like this isn't your reading, there, I have more readings like this. There are other piles. It's fine. So, but... 
when it, because these are thinking about work. So I don't know. Some of you might actually work with this person. Others of you, like this person is kind of like thinking about whether it's worth the work. And this person hasn't decided what kind of actions they are going to take. I think that... I think that you shouldn't get too serious with this person until they demonstrate that they're serious with you. We do have the Ten of Wands, uh, Pentacles though, but also Four of Swords from the Ten of Pentacles. This person might be getting over a relationship or not getting over a relationship. Uh, we have... Possibly a desire to be single. Let's talk about the Three of Cups and the Fool. The Fool like is a new beginning, but it also is maybe risky. Um, it can be taking risks. This person seems like somebody who is currently focused on being single um, and may not be in a place to take relationships very seriously. Um, it's not that they couldn't, but they would have to make a decision on, on going forward that they're really putting the work in the situation. But I've got healing from some past relationship and like really concentrating on themselves and yeah I, I feel like this is a pile of maybe let them do some healing because you may not want to be their rebound person and it's not that you can't have a real relationship with somebody who's had a, a relationship over, but this is getting the energy of somebody who's not really taking these new experiences seriously. So if you wanna be taken seriously, this may not be the person. Or if it's the person, it's not the time. We have the judgment card. Yeah, I feel like it's very important to use judgment when dealing with this person. Also, judgment is like, do you want to be in some kind of cycle? Um, but I think that this person is probably giving you enough red flags that you can probably figure this out if you're paying attention to it. We have a high priestess following your inner guidance. And we have the Four of Pentacles, somebody who's just not in a place where they're giving. And the Seven of Swords. Okay, um, it's not that this person is a monster, but this person is not in a place where they are open to giving or even letting, or maybe they're not letting go of their past situation, which is going to... You know, but this person does want something from you. They're just not going to take this seriously, and I wouldn't count on them being there when you looked around. So I think that this, this particular pile is a little bit of a warning. Freya, boldness. Also goddess of beauty and quite a few other things, but... I think that you shouldn't forget how awesome you are. And if you really truly think that you can just have a relationship and you're not gonna get emotionally attached to this person, um, then it's, it's something that you could do. But also keep in mind this is somebody that's not going to keep you and take you seriously so you should not be taking them seriously 
And if you do feel like you're going to catch feelings, maybe choose somebody who's a little bit more emotionally open. There is nothing wrong with not being a casual person. Elevator, rise above. Again, there, there's... If you are... This situation might be something like to rise above at this point in time. It doesn't seem... Because this person, like whatever other qualities, they might be all take and no give right now. Because they're unwilling to let go of something or unwilling to open up and give again. Non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent in doing both. You can be both a material human and be connected with the divine. Being in your higher self. Paying attention to what that higher self tells you. Ace of Swords. New beginning in honesty, clarity, truth. Maybe a truth you don't want to hear. So, I think that this person hasn't yet decided to put real work in the connection with you. Um, and if you engage with them right now, they are not going to take this connection seriously. We have be fearless and having to do something with the truth. So what is your truth? What is, what is the kind of beginning that you truly want to have? Because we do have seven of swords that came up. So like there is a chance that this, that there, you know, that this person might not act in a way that's really great towards you. And I feel like with the Ace of Swords, it's a new beginning, but with honesty, clarity, truth. So, the cards are clearly saying that you are a strong person. Um, you just don't want to waste your time on somebody who isn't going to put in the effort if that's what you want. Because it's not that you won't have a good time, but it's simply that it can keep you from the person that actually will. So, let's get you some charms. Okay, we have grandmother, so that's an interesting one. We have um, don't panic. We have soft heart. Okay, if you've got a really soft heart, you don't have to be a casual person. If you're going to get emotionally invested, don't invest in somebody who's not in a place to invest back. That That's pretty important. We've got shell, you know, beauty. We have passion. I feel like there is passion, but also know that you can have a new beginning in passion. We have Superman or Supergirl, so the right use of power. And we have the lovebirds. Are you going to have the lovebirds with this person? Again, you deserve to have a true love connection. We also have the letter B, as I just throw it. That was B as in boy. So Ace of Wands is a new beginning. We also have the Ace of Swords as a new beginning. I don't feel like whoever you're dealing with is really, at this point, ready for a new beginning. Um, but also, like, even if they are, like, they're going to be ready for a new beginning when they're 
you know, healed up when they... I, I think that it's best not to engage them with this person until that happens. Um, we have grandmother. So, like some kind of a female ancestor or five of swords. I feel like you may have had advice at some point, you know, from a loved one, from an ancestor, like, showing you like this behavior or um, warning you about this behavior. But we have the five of swords, which means like one person really being selfish and not thinking about how their actions affect someone else. Um, we have don't panic. I feel like I should go a little bit more in that. Queen of pentacles. I feel like maybe there's not a reason to panic about commitment. Uh, like, again, you want to invest in somebody who's going to invest back to you. So, like, you know, make sure that you pick the person who's going to do that. Otherwise you're actually going to waste more time by trying to make somebody who's not into it try to do it. So I've got a new beginning. We've got Supergirl, Superman. I feel like if this person is going to invest in you, um, they're going to have to heal and, and um, get in a place where they're actually willing to have some kind of serious connection. Um, in the meantime, I feel like there's a need for you to, to, to have that truth and, and, you know, figure out, like, how you're using your power. Um, because I do potentially see, like, the lovebirds. I don't, but, you know, is it this connection or is it another connection that you won't explore because you're hung up on this person? So I hope that this helps. I deeply appreciate you. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers. Just make sure you're subscribed and you comment. Uh, I want, if you want to be a part of that, I'll give, a, and if, thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I really appreciate it. So my gorgeous pile number threes. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. I think that this person's pro head has probably been clouded for a long time and they may have had a wake up call. Tower. And Queen of Pentacles. So we have it seems like this person didn't have a clear mind and really, really messed up things between the two of you. And I think that this person is realizing that, really, really getting that. I feel like this person does have some emotions, maybe does want to like romance you, but I think that they've, yeah, like we've got the tower. Nine of swords. I feel like um, this realization is bringing up a lot of fear in them. And we have the Two of Swords clarifying the Two of Swords. This person's, like, whatever was going on in this person's head was not accurate. And I feel like it probably happened for a long time because we have Two of Swords and the Two of Swords. Like, they were just so deep into 
like thoughts that they had that just really weren't accurate. Um, also, they may not have been sure, so they didn't do anything. Um, but whatever, uh, you know, they didn't do anything until everything burnt down. And they still might not have done anything because it's still the Two of Swords. But I think that this person has come to the realization that the consequences of them not doing anything may have been catastrophic. We have the Star and the Queen of Cups. I'm get, uh, Not the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting that, you know, you might be represented as the Queen of Pentacles, somebody that is an ideal person to have a relationship with. We have the star being what happens after the tower, the wish for healing, and um, you also might be really, truly standing out to this person at this time. Yeah, I feel like how are they feeling about you right now? Tower. Um, it's become really, really clear that um, the foundation that you guys had together has completely fallen apart. Um, this person, their life has been worse off. They turned the wheel of fortune in the wrong direction. So... This person might be very aware that they hurt you and you're in the process of healing or this person might be having to, you know, after finally coming to, you know, some kind of at least clarity within their mind, even if maybe they haven't taken action on that yet, but they are feeling like they do need to take action on something emotional, like they're... There is this element of like having to heal and we have the Knight of Swords. Look, this person, this is taking action on the truth. This is the truth. This is, you know, having a, an unclear mind and not taking action. So I feel like this person probably didn't take action for a very, very, very long time. Um, it caused catastrophic issues. This person has not had their life go the way that they want it to go because of the decisions that they made. And I feel like some of it's the decisions that they made with you, but some of it's they're, you know, just not, you know, not having a clear head. You have the lovers. This person does feel a emotional connection to you. I feel in order for this person to fix their karma, <laughs> to move their wheel of fortune in the better direction, they actually have to start being generous. Page of Cups. This person, like, Page of Cups sometimes comes up as apology. I don't always get that, but I am getting, because of the combination of the other cards, this person might come in with an apology. This person, you know, probably has acted in a very emotionally immature way, but they're, they're probably thinking of communicating with you. Because this person is starting to have um, really strong regret. 
How are they feeling about you? Elevator, rise above. Is this person rising above? I feel like this person might get the impression that you've risen above this situation. Maybe risen above um, them. Liberation. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe them anymore that they're you. Again, like tower and tower. This person has really messed things up and you might have, you know, risen above the occasion, liberated yourself. I feel like this person is... St realizing that they have to liberate themselves from their own foolish stuff. Free spirit, liberation, free spirit. Yeah, I think that this person has hope, but not a lot of hope that you'll be in a relationship with them. But You seem to be somebody who's, you know, going out there, freeing yourself, living your best life. If this person is not doing, you know, like if this person never makes a decision on you, this person can just see you almost like floating away. I know that the, you're, you're not going to clearly float, but I'm getting like the impression where, you know... I think that you were probably the best thing that was going to happen to this person and your, you know, rising from the flames, your freeing yourself, your rising above. Um, and this person is realizing that whatever they did, they might have completely, completely destroyed any foundation you had. I feel like this person may think that you have no real reason to come back. And while this person does want to heal with you, they do, you know, they want all these things, but luck. Look, this person's luck is better with you. Um, and this person, for the decisions they made or the decisions that they, you know, just absolutely refused to make, they changed their luck and not for the best. They changed their luck for the worse. And I am almost getting like they're being able to see when they did that. And they're seeing that part of that is directly related to you. As long as you like you, you're all set. I think that, at least from this person's impression, um, you like you, you're building your life. You're floating away being this amazing, you're, you're floating away with all of their luck. And I know you're not literally floating, but it's just, it's, I'm getting, almost like that impression, like intuition. I don't know if this person has been ignoring their intuition regarding you, um, or if you've been following your intuition in, you know, in, 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 in freeing yourself if this person doesn't want to make any decision regarding you. Uh, but I think that this person is not set because this person doesn't actually truly like themselves. I feel like, yeah. And it doesn't mean that this person can't, like, you know, do things and, you know, build themselves up and, and then come to like themselves. And you could have liked this person, loved this person, but this person 
does have to be or, or right with their self to the point where they just don't absolutely explode their relationships. We have clarity setting this person free. I feel like this person is just finally getting clarity, um, but it's a lot because this person was in their, in their not the most um, mentally clear place for a long time. We have time. So when I say it's a long time, it's a long time. Like this, time might also be one of the factors. And we have Yoda in the heart. Yoda like literally using the force, but it's like we... I think that they may not use this term but I think this person might really, really, truly realize that they have, may have manifested their bad luck. They may have, you know, blown up the, the foundations. Yeah, I feel like this person is just coming to the realization of how unwise they have been acting. And they, I, I, I feel like they do, like they still, you still stand out to them. Uh, but it's almost like they, they, like the truth is making them very, anxious and scared um, because the truth is they might have blown up both of your lives and you might not have gone you might have you know pulled yourself up and decided to live your life in the best way possible and they might not have done anything to improve for a long time um, uh, it's not that this person can't come and do right by you, um, but I almost get the impression that you might not believe them. And like, I feel like this is in, it has in fact, this is a, has affected them in ways that they didn't they didn't think about at all. So I hope that this helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm doing two as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers. Just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, time for our pile number fours. How are they feeling about you right now, pile number four? We have strength. We have queen of wands. Fiery, very, very physically attractive. Lots of energy, lots of warmth. Um. I will say that whatever, you are the most attractive person to them. And this person, I think, does obsess about you. Now, the question is, is like, is the connection that they offer you something that's healthy? But it does seem like there are emotions involved, like this person does want reunion this person does want that why is the devil here but very physically attractive very physically attracted very physically attracted king of wands king of wands to the queen of wands um this person is obsessed with you especially in the physical aspect 
This doesn't mean that there isn't more to you than that. You seem to be like there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of uh, you being somebody who's really strong. There's clarity on the Six of Cups. We have the Jack of Pentacles. Now, the Jack of Pentacles is like, you know, making an offer. Um, maybe moving things forward. It would be slowly moving things forward. I do think that you need to be concerned because I think that this... Not completely, because this is not the worst reading, but... This person might want to outpace things in a physical way before they set up the foundation in a emotional way. And again, there's a reason why there needs to be some kind of like health here. Um, so I feel like this person does want to offer you something real um, and this person has to decide how they're going to move forward. Or are they just going to go crazy and really, really, really go into the physical, which is nothing wrong with the physical. But I think that you don't want them to just it. Just go straight into the physical and really, really, really slowly go into the emotional. Um, because I think that it's more important to make sure that the emotional is together. Because otherwise, there can be mistakes made. This person has not made a decision about how they're going to move forward with you. They know that they want you. There is a chance that they will offer you a real relationship. But, you know, this person is very, very caught up in the physical at this point. So, yeah. You want to build a strong foundation with this person. Because this person is very, very obsessed with the physical with you. But you also want to build a foundation with this person. You want to nurture the emotions between you and this person. And I think that in order to do that, you might have to go slightly slower. We have the Fool, which is a brand new beginning. So I think that uh, this is a brand new beginning, brand new beginning, brand new beginning. This person wants to have something with you. They absolutely do. Um, but the question is, do you want something that is only physical? Hoping that the emotions will build over time. Or do you want to set up something that is a strong foundation from the beginning? Because, like, there's a lot of chance to be foolish. And, you know, you're, you're not responsible for this person's actions. But this person wants to be with you. And you can have conditions on how they get to be with you. Like, they get to be with you if they invest in you. You know, if they actually have a relationship with you. If they're actually building up romance between the two of you. We have Recharge. Does this person get a lot of energy from you? Do you get a lot of energy from this person? I feel like... Don't put yourself in a place where you're 
draining yourself, you know, again, it can be, it can be, it's not that it can't be done, um, but it's a lot harder to go from, you know, something that's just physical to the emotional than to build, uh, than to have all that physical heat and then build the emotional and then build a foundation and actually have this person be official with you. Internet. Embrace the fact that you are the world. Look, we're all interconnected. You matter, this person matters, like we all matter. Um, it's just, uh, but you do need to feel, think about how you're interconnecting. We've got the, um, all right, you deserve to be romanced. You deserve to have somebody who comes forward and acts in their emotional, um, and it's important to be steady, stable, and secure until that happens. I do think that, you know, this person wants you enough and has the capability of building something emotionally with you. But I feel like it does matter, like, the order of how you do things and that you shouldn't be, like, you don't want to deal with all the issues of them not getting their stuff together for a prolonged period of time. Again, I think that this person wants you so much that they will absolutely give you a relationship if that's what you want. But I feel if you come in and you're just um, being friends with benefits, uh, this person might eventually catch feelings for you, but you might have to deal with stuff you don't need to deal with. The fragrance always stays on the hand that gives the rose. If you're somebody that is, you know, always giving and loving and, uh, you know, like your, that beauty that you put in the, to the world sticks to you. And also, this person is going to be a lot more beautiful if this person has to give to you. Again, this should not be a one-sided thing on either part. Balance. This person is super into you. They are obsessed with you. If you want something that has a good foundation, you have to balance that. You have to balance your needs with their needs. You have to balance the long term with the short term. Don't, you know, if you don't give in to what they want right away, you know, it doesn't matter. This passion is still going to be there. The question is whether you set up a foundation of um, that, that could actually last the test of time. And that comes from a place of being strong and if they don't offer you a relationship don't mess with this person, but I think that this person is going to offer you a relationship just because they want you. But while there is a chance for there to be like love and kindness and goodness in this relationship, there's also this aspect of obsession. There's also this aspect of, you know, possible ill health and ill health in a relationship comes from imbalance. 
So I think that you should name your terms for what you want. I think this person is going to give that to you. Um, but I think that you should start the beginning of your relationship on stable ground. And, you know, because there is a chance of being foolish here. So I hope that this helps you. I deeply appreciate you. If you want a, oh, let me get you some charms. We've got fear. We've got daughter. We've got Athena. And we have truth setting you free. So clarity is going to give you freedom. Um, you may have fears. Maybe like if you don't act on something right away, it's going to go away. That's not the energy I'm getting from this person. But there is a need to be wise. And, you know, don't be afraid to ask for what you want because... You're afraid you could be rejected. Like, let people reject you. Because this keeps you in a place where, with the Two of Swords, a lack of mental clarity. And it also puts people in a place where they don't have to make decisions regarding you. Let's talk about daughter. Tree and the Seven of Cups. There is a need to be healed. I don't know if this has to do with like inner child and we have the seven of cups like choose correctly. Choose what is going to actually be best for you because not all choices you make are going to lead to the result that you want. Are you going to have a daughter with this person? Do you already have a daughter with this person? Why is daughter here? I feel like there's just a need to, to pick wisely and there's a need for like there to be health within this relationship and there's daughter in relation to that we have nine of swords we have fears anxieties I, I'm just think don't be afraid to ask for what you want they you know this person if, if they're foolish enough not to give it to you then you know you're gonna have other options but I think that it's more important that you ask for what you want. Like, just, it doesn't mean, uh, yeah. And I think that if you truly ask for what you want, this particular person wants you so much that they are probably going to give that to you. But um, I think that you have to ask for what you want or else you might not, you know, like this might just be so physically focused that um, you might not get other things that you want. So I feel like take the time uh, if you want a real relationship, build a real relationship before, you know, at least be on the same page whether you are in a relationship before you get physical. Um, this is not a morality thing. This is simply the card saying that that's what's going to be in your best interest. So I hope and wish the absolute best for you. Um, and thank you so much. Uh, if you want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. If you want uh, to be get one of two free readings, make sure that you uh, uh, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment and you're in the running for those. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate you.